Hello there, my name is Vaidatas and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can fix the error connection closed on Google Chrome. Let's start. The error connection closed has several causes, including issues with SSL installation, network settings and your internet connection. Sometimes the error is just a temporary glitch you can solve by reloading the page, but in other instances you'll need to troubleshoot it. Let's review the possible solutions for this error, starting with the simplest one. The first and simplest solution is to ensure your internet connection is working fine. Restart your router by turning it off and turning it back on after a minute. The error connection closed message might also appear there is an issue with the site server. To find out if that is the case, you can use a tool like the one provided by Website Planet. Paste the website's URL and click on the check button. If it shows the website is online, the issue is probably on your end. If your internet is working just fine, the network settings could be misconfigured, blocking your access to the site. For Windows users, you can reset them via the command prompt. To do that, type command prompt into the search bar and right click on it. Choose run as administrator. You'll see a pop-up asking you to allow it to make changes to your computer choose yes. If it asks for an administrative login, you will need to contact your system administrator to perform the next steps. Once the window opens, enter the following command. Don't worry, I'll add the necessary commands to the description. After that, hit enter. Next, you'll need to reset the Windows Sockets interface by typing the following command. Click enter to run it. Now, restart your computer to implement the changes. For Mac users, you can reset the network without accessing the command line interface. Go to System Settings and select Network. Click on your internet connection, which is marked as Connected. Now, click on the Details button and go to the TCP IP tab. Hit the Renew DHCP Lease button to finish the process. Another way to fix the error connection closed is clearing your DNS cache. It will remove all existing DNS lookup records and establish a new connection using the latest ones. If you use Windows, run the command prompt as administrator, just like I showed you before. Type the following command and click enter to run it. Windows will automatically clear your DNS cache files and display a confirmation message. On macOS, go to Applications, choose Utilities and click on Terminal. Now type the command corresponding to your macOS version. I'll list the command options in the description below. Hit enter. If necessary, insert your admin password and click enter again to flush your DNS cache. In addition to clearing your DNS cache, I'll also recommend clearing the browser cache. Chrome usually stores some of the website's static files in your computer to speed up the loading process when you revisit the site. If a cached file becomes corrupted, it might trigger the connection closed error message. To clear Chrome's cache, click on the three dots at the top right corner of the screen and select Settings. Click on Privacy and Security and then Clear Browsing Data. Select All Time and tick the box Cached Images and Files. Then click Clear Data. You may also encounter this error because your internet service provider is blocking the internet connection to a specific site. In this case, you can try using a VPN service. If you're already using a VPN or proxy server, they can also trigger the error connection closed. To check if your VPN or proxy is the reason behind the error, disable it. For Windows users, disable your proxy server through the control panel, which you can access via the search bar. Then look for Internet Options. On the Internet Options menu, you'll see a pop-up showing your network settings. Click on the Connections tab and then on the LAN settings. Uncheck the boxes for both Automatically Detect Settings and use a proxy server for your LAN. If you're using macOS, once again, access your network details, but this time, open the Proxies tab. If you use VPN or proxy extensions, make sure to turn those off as well. Your firewall or antivirus software may also block the connection to the website and trigger the error message. To fix this issue, temporarily disable your computer's firewall or antivirus software. I do not recommend disabling firewalls and or antivirus permanently as it makes your computer vulnerable to cyber attacks. The steps to turning off your antivirus vary according to what software you're using, so make sure to check its documentation. 
let's see how to disable the firewall on Windows and Mac OS. On Windows, select Start and Open Settings. Under Update and Security, select Windows Security and click on Firewall and Network Protection. Select a network profile, domain network, private network, or public network. Switch the Microsoft Defender firewall to off. If you are using a Mac device, go to the system settings and click on network. Toggle the button to disable your firewall. If that solved the connection closed error, try to reset your firewall or antivirus settings to remove any potential misconfigurations. If the error message persists, turn them back on and move on to another troubleshooting option. Using an older version of Chrome might cause compatibility or configuration issues triggering the connection closed error. To check if your browser needs an update, click the three dots, select Help, and click About Chrome. If the browser is up to date, move on to the next method. But if you're using an old version, it will display Update Google Chrome button. Click on it to update the browser. To finish the process, relaunch your browser. Alternatively, you can also reinstall it completely to get a clean copy of Chrome. However, note that doing so might clear your browsing data. If the previous methods haven't worked, you can try using Google DNS. Your internet service provider usually uses its own DNS servers, but you can change this temporarily while facing issues and set your operating system to use Google Public DNS IP addresses. If you are a Windows user, from the control panel, go to Network and Internet. Select Network and Sharing Center and change adapter settings. Then click your Ethernet or Wi-Fi connection and select Properties. On the pop-up window, double-click Internet Protocol version 4. On the Properties window, select Use the following DNS server addresses. In the Preferred DNS box, enter 8888. And in the Alternate DNS server box, enter 8844. And click OK to confirm. If you use Mac OS, go to System Settings to change your DNS server settings. After that, click on the Network tab. If the lock icon is locked, click on it to unlock it. It will display a pop-up screen asking for your admin credentials. Once it's unlocked, select your connection and click on the Details button. Go to the DNS tab and click the Minus button to remove the previous DNS entries. Then, click on the Plus button, enter 8888 and 8844 to add Google's IP addresses. Press OK to implement the changes. Another method you can try is running the Chrome Cleanup tool, but note that it is only available for Windows users. The cleanup tool scans your computer, looking for harmful software that may be affecting Chrome's functionality, and it can help detect any possible triggers of the connection closed error. To run it, you just need to go to Settings and select Reset and Cleanup. Click on Cleanup Computer and then check for harmful software. Click on Find so the tool will scan your computer. The process can take a few minutes. When it's done, the tool will disable any harmful browser extensions and recommend follow-up actions to remove any malware detected. Lastly, another potential cause of this error is malicious software or viruses. Some are unintentionally made to block your internet connection, which can trigger the connection closed error message. Luckily, Chrome's cleanup tool may already flag the malware on your device and help you remove it. But if you want a more comprehensive check, or your device doesn't support the tool, run a malware scan. Usually, most antivirus software offer this type of scan. You only need to complete the instructions provided. In case you find malware on your computer, the antivirus will also take care of its removal. And that's how you can troubleshoot the error connection closed on Google Chrome. Let me know in the comments section which method worked for you. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials on troubleshooting errors. Thanks for watching and good luck on your online journey.